What do you think? How much is in there? About a third a bag, maybe? I hate to take it off because it's dripping. Take a while. This is just from today's running sap. I'm thinking it's about a gallon just from this one tree. We got about six trees like that. I'm losing some sap because it's not on there. Hey, welcome back. I'm making a sap storage barrel platform. Um, so what I've got is a 20 gallon barrel that's uh, plastic, it's food grade, and it's got a sealed lid with a metal ring you can snap. So what I'm gonna do is dump my sap into that for when I boil this spring normally I only have enough time like on maybe a Saturday or Sunday to boil four or five hours. Maybe sometimes I can boil all day on a Saturday. But what I want to do is be able to get this barrel up off the ground with a valve so I can fill my trays up or fill some other container and then put it onto my boiling apparatus. Um, I'll link that video of how I made my filing cabinet boiling system up here for you guys to take a look at later. But this is, the platform I'm making is 16 by 16. I just had some scrap lumber hanging around here in the barn. As you can tell, we've got all kinds of stuff from projects and it's a big mess right now, but this is where stuff comes in and it goes out when we have another project come in. But I'll show you what I'm doing. So stay tuned and hopefully everything goes okay. I started building some stuff and I'll show you what I did. So this is the base I made and uh, I measured the barrel and the barrel was 16 by about 16. And that should give me plenty of space for that barrel to sit right in the middle there. And I'll show you how I made an adapter for the barrel little spout as I build that. But then I took some one, um, these are something I ripped down for the windows I was doing in the basement, but they're just one by, they're not one by four. They're actually just under three inches. But I cut these all to 16 inches, so I'm just gonna put them on here. They're just kind of a little scrap, make a little space in case water gets on there. This is gonna be inside the sugar house, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of putting these on there real quick I'm kind of I'll straighten them up and then what I'm gonna do is take this staple gun I got and let's put a staple on each side of these and that should hold this onto here 
So I'll show you that and then I'll show you what my idea is for a leg system when we get down to the sugar house. So I'm just going to try to kind of line these up. It's kind of a little, you know, little base you can do for anything. And this is kind of like a little deck because I wanted to make these slots in case snow blow, blows into this um, sugar house because we don't really have, the ends aren't sighted yet. We've been working on that. We had some leftover siding, of course, from another job. So uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just gonna run a couple staples in here. I'm trying to make it so they're probably gonna all go everywhere because they're loose. Hold it like this. You can use screws, but if you use screws, make sure you pre-drill. So I'll finish this up and then I'll show you what we got going on down in the sugar house. So I already see an issue. This is way too tall. So I need to cut my leg a little bit lower. I mean, shoot, that doesn't need to be that high. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was measuring the outside because I drilled this hole. I was going to put it outside, but then I remembered it's not good to store your sap in the sun, which that side is the south. So what I'm going to do is probably bring this down to about where that hole was I drilled. So I'm gonna bring it down maybe six or eight more inches and see how that looks because I'm gonna have to fill this barrel from a ladder, it looks like, which it's okay. I mean, I don't care, but it'd be nice to be able to just kind of dump it at about this level. And I know the new tray I wanna buy is about three or four inches tall so as long as my pipe is coming out about here, this is about, we'll give ourselves six inches. Top of this is 28, so about 34, 35. So 35, and then this is off there about an inch. So for about 38, so if we come down about 10 inches, so to cut that piece at 48, 10 inches would be a lot lower. 10 inches the top of this barrel would only be here, so it'd be easy to just snap the top off and put it in there. So it's good when you're doing a project like this, I'm just kind of winging everything. So we'll make our adjustments and hopefully that fixes it. This is my plan to do this. And then I've got this spout coming out. It's gonna turn and come across here. Um, and I really wanna go into that side of the trays. So this is my storage system. So we'll see, I'm gonna put a lay, lay, couple legs down here probably put one in the front and one in the back because these panels that were the back wall were made when we re-poured the concrete at this house here and they are made to a really odd size because that is definitely not on 16 inch centers because that piece should fall in real nice. So I decided I wanted to put a better brace on the back. I cut a piece 
about 18 inches. And I'm gonna screw that in there a little bit better. Cause that other piece was just barely wide enough to get a screw in. leg hopefully I measured it right right there I'm just gonna toenail toenail a screw in so it stays Pretty good. My barrel up there. And there's our stand for our barrel. Should be plenty high enough to get a good flow down to our pans over here, but not too high where I can't take the ring off and fill it with sap here's the tree I want to tap if I don't fall down a bunch of garbage in the way too What I'd like to do, I try to find a root right here. See, there's a pretty good sized root down there. Kind of come up. already running got these spiles on the interwebs of course you can get stuff anywhere now was maybe I could use this milk jug somehow never done this before probably have to watch that one pretty good Dripping like crazy already. 
my buddy's supposed to bring me some buckets tomorrow so i'll replace these with buckets another nice tree down here it's kind of in the shade right now though Look for that big root One's running too. I don't know, I'm trying to figure this out. Try to get the plastic out of there. That was better. Hmm, I don't know. 